Where are you, Sally? Should be home by now. Macy Forrester. Any word yet? No, no word yet, Clark. Should it be taking this long? I have no idea. Have you known anyone who's gone through this? I mean, what's the procedure? Are you concerned? You're damn right I'm concerned. Well, how very touching, Clark. Too bad you didn't feel this way before you put Mother through this. If you see her, have her call me right away. <sighs> what is taking her so long? Hi. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, no, no. Come on in. You will never guess what I have to tell you. What? I spoke with Lieutenant Burke today. We've managed to locate Ruth Ann's family. You did? Yes. Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> this is just wonderful. Where are they? They're in San Diego. Both of the children? Yes, they're living with their father. Well, did you find out, is he married or not? There is a girlfriend, but no, he hasn't remarried. Oh, this is fabulous. This is just fabulous. <sighs> what are you going to do? Well, uh, I don't know yet, but, but I'm definitely going to go and see this man. You really want to take this on? Oh, I'm absolutely committed to it. I have to say, it may not be that easy bringing these people back together again. Eric, what Ruth did for me wasn't easy. But she did it without a moment's hesitation. She saved my life. I want to repay her in kind. Sally. Are you all right? Yeah. Here. Here. Let me, uh, help you to the bed. I was worried about you, honey. Mm -hmm. Worried? Yeah. I had no idea it would take this long. Uh, are you hungry? Have you eaten yet? Food is uh, not exactly uppermost in my mind right now, uh -huh. darling. Of course not. Hey, why don't you just settle back? I'll, I'll get you some juice. Got all your magazines, your favorites. Do you want to watch a little television? No, thanks. I, I don't want to watch television. Is there anything I can do for you? No, darling. I can make it on my own. Think, honey. Think Daddy will like this? Hmm? Oh, no, it's got to be something special tonight. Something that he will remember. I know.
Honey, here. Why don't you just relax? You've been through an ordeal. Yes, well, yes, it has been an ordeal. You must be exhausted. I am, I am. I'm tired. I'm more tired than you'll ever know. Well, you'll feel a lot better and differently after a good night's sleep. Darling, darling, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure I'm going to feel any different. Sally, you did the right thing. Did I? The right thing for who? For you, for me, for our marriage? Can't you see how much this baby meant to me? I can't. You never once mentioned wanting to have a child. Well, that's only because I didn't think it was possible. Darling, if I thought for one moment it was possible. Oh, my love, more than anything in the world, I wanted to do this for you. You've given me an even greater gift, believe me. I think it was a mistake. I disagree. It would have been a mistake, Sally. A big mistake. Look, I don't know why we're talking like this. It's all water under the bridge, anyway. So, why don't you just lie back, relax, have an enjoyable evening, and get all this out of your mind, don't, all right? Don't. That must be Macy. I'll make sure she doesn't disturb you. No. No, darling. Let her come in. Can you imagine what the expression will be on Ruth's face when she sees those children again for the first time? Stephanie, are you absolutely certain that this is what Ruth Ann wants? What she wants and what she needs. Eric, that beautiful, wonderful friend of mine has been living on the streets for years. That's an outrage. Can you, can you possibly imagine what it must be like to be separated from your children, from your family for years? Can you even fathom the, the anguish? What's difficult for me to fathom is the way this has all affected you. I lived it. I know you did. And you've come out of it a, a stronger, more sensitive, and more caring person. You're a much more attractive person as well, Stephanie. Very nice, thank you. Well, I have to be going. Thank you. Thank you for helping to find Ruth's family. The fact is, I appreciate the opportunity. At a moment like this, I can't imagine that we ever had an unkind word for each other. It does seem rather uncharacteristic at this moment. Sleep warm. You're home. Hi. Long day. Yes, actually. Where's the baby? He's asleep. So, where were you? I was here with Stephanie's. Oh, how is she? She's all right. Did she mention that I stopped by? No. She didn't? When were you there? Late this afternoon. Eric, something happened while I was there. What? I really had my eyes opened. I went to discuss something with Stephanie about my suspicions. That she's beginning to remember things, but she's not telling any of us? Yes, and that she was doing it as a way to make inroads with you. When I got there, she was with a man. 
Her friend from the streets. Adam, I think his name was. Mm-hmm. Go on. Well, they were very warm with one another. Very loving and tender. Stephanie looked at him and treated him like somebody she was truly involved with. And then she kissed him. So she's not after you at all. She's in love with this man. Well, at the risk of being accused of saying, I told you so. You did. Any number of times. It just seems so uncharacteristic for Stephanie to be so sincere, so above board. Well, love does that to people. Yes, it does. Love does marvelous things to people. Glad to see you tonight. Well, you made it sound so important, Adam. Yes, it is. What is it? When I was here earlier, and you were kissing me goodbye in front of Eric's wife, I had the strangest sensation. What? It was as though you were putting on a performance, Stephanie. A, a performance? Yes for your ex-husband's wife. That is what you were doing, wasn't it? Oh, Mom, how are you? I'm all right, honey. Oh, you look totally spent. Well, it's, it's been quite a day. And now we're helping her get some rest. Oh, we are, are we? Well, she obviously needs it, so if you'll excuse us. I want to talk to her, Clark. You can talk to her tomorrow. I want to talk to her now. Darling, would you leave us alone for a few minutes, please? Fine. Don't wear her out. You mean don't wear her down? Which shouldn't take much after what you've put her through. Excuse me. Relax, sweetheart, I've been insecure and so terribly unfair to both you and Stephanie. I'm going to ask for Stephanie's forgiveness as well. But for you, Eric, I'm going to take it one step further. Uh, only one. Am I overcompensating? I certainly hope so.
I've never kissed you without wanting to kiss you. I know you haven't, but earlier today, you kissed me for reasons other than your feelings for me. Adam, I, I care very deeply for you. Please don't be defensive. But surely you're not going to deny what you feel for Eric? <sighs> Stephanie, look at me. You've got to follow your heart. You must. I wouldn't want it any other way. I mean that. Surely this isn't the prelude to a goodbye speech. Do you honestly need me in your life right now? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, Adam. Adam, I do. You're not just saying that for my benefit? I would never do that to you. I hope not. You are my closest, closest confidant, my closest companion. You're the only person I've ever told that I, that I have my memory back. Besides Ruth Ann. No, I didn't tell Ruth. Ruth figured it out on her own. I depend on your friendship. Then trust that it will always be there. Is that enough for you for now? Friendship? That's like asking if a person can live with a 10 carat diamond. Oh, Mom, you must be totally destroyed. Please. Is there anything I can, is there anything I can do for you? No. Just sit with me a while. I, I need somebody to talk to. I don't want you to hold back any of your anger. Just let it all out. And I know you must be angry because I certainly am. What that man did to you was reprehensible. I know, honey. And the more I think about it, the more furious I get. <laughs> to think that that man would have you terminate a pregnancy just because it isn't convenient to him? Oh, he makes me livid. Oh. I'm sorry, Mom. I shouldn't be talking about this. I'm sure you must be mad enough to kill him, right? Well, aren't you? You're not... You don't seem like you're mad at all. Why, Mother? You, of all people, are not gonna let him get away with this. He didn't get away with anything, Lacey. What do you mean? Mother, what exactly happened today? What happened today? I went to a clinic today, and I talked to a doctor, and I went into a room and I put on a robe, and I waited for the doctor to come back, and then I suddenly realized something. This is my last baby. I'm never going to have another one. And so I got up, and I got dressed, and I walked out of that room, and I walked out of that clinic, and I didn't stop until I got home. Oh, Mom. You're not saying <laughs> you didn't go through with it? I still got my baby, Macy. I still got Clark's baby inside my body. Mom. Oh, baby. Oh, Macy. Oh. Oh. oh, Macy. Oh, Macy, how do I tell him? How do I tell Clark? 